attachments to results can really kill performance. It sounds counterintuitive. Like I want results and results driven. Yes. We, we need to measure the effectiveness of what we're doing. We need to stop and see how we're doing. We need to, we need to, uh, as, as executives and leaders of business, of course, we need to have uh, goals and, and we need to operate on, on a results oriented basis. But when I talk about attachments to results, that's where we start to lose performance. That's because that's an over attachment. And what I mean by that is, can you approach something with a desired result or an intended result without being, without hinging your sort of uh, well-being or happiness or, or um, effectiveness on that result? Can you focus more on what you're doing and how you're doing it? So you, you've created a plan, you want to get a result, you're taking action. Now focusing on that action and focusing much more so on how you're doing it, who you're interacting with, are you present during that process, forgetting about the result for the moment and just actually appreciating, but getting deep into the, into the current thing you're doing and more about how you're doing it. And when you pop up again, whether it's daily or whatever, and you, and you notice where you are and you make an adjustment, you'll see that you're further along and you'll see that you're less stressed and have less anxiety in the process. And when you have less stress and anxiety and you're more present, your relationships improve, your confidence improves, and the clarity of your decisions improve. 